<laughs> yes. Man, that's my jam right there, guys. Hey, welcome back to another edition, another episode of the Practical Training Podcast with yours truly, Mr. Mike Bell at Real Mike Bell. Uh, Mike at ptpgun.com for all of your uh, firearms and, and uh, firearms training necessities. Make sure you guys are reaching out, letting us know, dropping down the comments, and letting us know how we're doing around here. Uh, guys, we've talked about this before. This show is not, it's not all about firearms and ammunition and firearms training and that stuff like that, right? We want a holistic approach to firearms and firearms engagement. And part of that, as mentioned in the uh, intro episode there, is one of the things we're going to be talking about is hunting. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hunting season, at least out here in Maryland and, and this region, uh, really isn't opening up until November, um, as it normally does. And that's, you know, about four months out. But if you're anything like me, okay, you're already starting to think about that big buck <laughs> that's, that's creeping through your little hidey hole, your super secret hidey hole. Uh, and, you know, maybe you've got the trail cams out and you're checking stuff and you're watching and maybe you're going out there and trying to clear clear out the undergrowth and all that stuff to keep your trails open back up to your tree stand, your favorite spot. You're doing all that stuff, right? You're doing that annual maintenance on your hidey hole. And um, another thing you should be doing, right, at periodically is, as we mentioned before, checking your ammo, checking your gear, making sure you're prepared because I'm going to get into a story here in a minute that's, that speaks to being prepared, but you want to be prepared. You don't want November to come around and you not be ready to go out there and put food on the table for your family. You don't want to be waiting to the last minute to fill your freezer up for the year, right? You, you guys want to be prepared, just like I want to be prepared. And part of that, part of that training, part of that holistic approach to being a responsible farms owner, responsible steward of the environment, responsible hunter, all that other stuff is keeping an eye on your stuff, keeping an eye on your gear, making sure you're prepared, right? So the other day, I'm, I'm getting my stuff prepared, and uh, – uh, something we're not going to talk about here. We'll talk about it later, but Maryland just opened up as of last year, right? The, the straight wall rifle hunt, um, which for years, decades, really, it had been, it, depending on where you lived at in Maryland, you could only hunt with muzzleloader, shotgun, archery. Now you could hunt with rifle, but the rifle's got to be the straight wall cartridge, right? So we'll get into that a little bit later. We'll do some product demos on some of the firearms that uh, our crew owns and uh, and show you what we're packing out this year. But we were getting all that stuff squared away, and I was going through my, my safe there. And let me tell you a story, right? So every year I take, you know, whenever I go down to get my hunting license and stuff like that, you got to take in Maryland, you got to take your hunter safety card out there, your hunter safety security, security, uh, certificate, sorry. And that's something that, you know, out here in Maryland, everybody's got to take before they could hunt. Well, I took mine way back in 2004, uh, when I first relocated to Maryland from, from Arizona. And one of the things, you know, that's, that's one of the things you have to have. So as I was inspecting my gear and I was getting everything, you know, prepared and going over trail, trail cam footage and this and that, right. I was like, well, shit, where's my, where's my, where is it? Where's my hunter safety card at? Right. I started bugging out, you know, every year it's the same thing. I keep that little, uh, <laughs> little fanny pack, right. That I carry around with me while I'm hunting. I keep that on me at all times, just in case DNR comes out or something like that. And then every year I bring it back. I put all my gear up, I clean it, uh, and I store it in a uh, airtight containers. I store everything like that. Right. Well, the hunter safety card, like with all of my important documents, I keep in my safe, uh, one of my safes. Um, anyhow, I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. And, you know, I don't want that card to prevent me from exercising my apex predator abilities on the lower species, namely, you know, the squirrel varmints or the, 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 the forest rodents, if you will, the, you know, deer. And I, and I want to get one. I want to feed my family. So anyways, all of this led me to an idea. I said, you know what? How hard is it to get your hunter safety certificate back once you've lost it. And I'm sitting there thinking, shit, I can't be, I can't be the only person that's ever lost their hunter safety, you know, their hunter education card, their hunter safety education card. So let me, let me write a blog about it. Let me do a little uh, brief podcast episode about it. Let me get it out to the people. That way I can help anybody else that's in this situation. All right. Now 
I'm going to walk you through it, all right? So stand by here. I'm going to jump screens. Again, you audio uh, only guys, make sure you're heading over to ptpgun.com. Uh, if you click in the blog section, right there, you'll have links to the YouTube. You'll have links to all of this stuff, all right? And and for you guys already on the blog or already on YouTube, you'll see what's coming. All right, but I want to jump over here and do, um, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So stand by. Bop. Here we go. All right. So this is a website. This is a website I want you guys to do. It's the first thing I want you guys to do, right? You, uh, there'll be a link in the, in the notes. Um, head over there and check this out. This is a Google form sheet um, for asking the government to give you a new hunting, and for this case, boating uh, safety education card request, all right? It's super simple. I'm going to walk you guys through it, and we're actually going to do it right here on the program. Um, once you click that link, you're going to be taken to this document you're seeing here on the screen. All right, guys? And, and it's, it's really not hard to, to, to navigate. Um, we're going to walk through it. It's pretty simple. And, and by the end of this, you know, you'll have everything you need to go out and file for a new hunter safety card. And in fact, why don't you go ahead and do this anyways? It's free. And then that way you have a copy. You could download it and keep it on your computer. So in the future, if you do happen to lose it, you could print this thing out and you don't have to, you know, repeat the problem. Um, so yeah, everybody go, go, go file for a replacement hunting, uh, hunting safety education card. It's free. All right. So here we go. We're going to walk through this together guys. So Where's my mouse at? Here we go. All right. So when you get over here, this is going to be super simple. We're going to just put in whatever you want. Oh, look at that. You can see all my emails. So we're just going to type in something crazy here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. At, and it has to be like a, a, a legal email account or whatever. So we'll do gmail.com. Uh, too simple. All right. Down here, what are we looking for, guys? We're looking for our hunter safety course. At least I am. Oh, this got to be valid. So let me punch in the period there. That's what it was. All right. Hunter safety license. That's what I'm looking for. Full legal name. Um, this is where you put your name. All right. And did you ever complete a course under another name? This is also important. All right. So if you were, um, I don't know, everybody, there's a lot of reasons why somebody might change their name. All right. In fact, at one point in my life, right, I, I, I changed my name. <laughs> I went from a uh, asshole to Mr. Asshole. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But, um, if you were married, okay, or if you were adopted at some point, or you reconnected with your, you know, your biological birth parents and you wanted to take their name back, there's a lot of reasons in life why somebody would, would change their name. If you're hiding from the IRS, who knows? Maybe you're a, an illegal immigrant and you stole somebody's identification and now you want to hunt. There's a million reasons why you would want to, you know, possibly change your name or something like that. But let's, let's focus on the easy one. You went out, you got your hunter safety course. You're a young, young lady, you know, 12, 13 years old. You go out, you get your hunter safety license. You've been hunting. Um, you enjoy the sport. Uh, you enjoy providing for your family. And then at some point in life, you get married and now you have a different last name. All right. This is where you're going to put that last name in. So this is, so in this situation, I'm going to put, this was my old last name. That way, you know, yeah, I changed my name. All right. What's my date of birth? All right, this is easy, right? This is a little scroll menu here. You jump down, you put wherever you want. Uh, let's just say we're born in January. Let's select a different year here. Uh, you know it's bad whenever you got to scroll back. <laughs> but let's go back to uh, January of 2000 uh, on January 6th. We'll call that our birth date, all right, guys? Uh, if you know what month you took it, this is really going to help out. We'll say we took it in January and... Uh, if you know where, uh, so for me, I took it in Mechanicsville at the old uh, lodge there. Um, and then that's it. it. It really is that simple. You hit the submit button. Boop. Too easy. Oh, crap. Here we go. We got the capture. So where are the chimneys at? There's one here. There's one there, one here. And that's it. Let's see if that, let's see if the ticks is there. All right, there we go. Bam. That easy. Your response has been recorded. Expect up to two weeks for delivery. Um, there's a little issue here. If you have any issues, you email this girl, uh, Tiffany Palmatari at Maryland.gov, uh, to check the status, but they're not going to provide status prior to two weeks. Wait your two weeks, ladies and gentlemen, for me, I filed, uh, I did this process back on June 30th, uh, whenever I was digging through my gear and I couldn't find my stuff. So what happens, right? So once you submit this application, you're going to get an email. We'll take you over here to Mike, uh, Mike Bell's email. This is Mike at ptpgun.com. And this is, uh, this is what you guys see here. Let me make sure you guys can see it on the screen. 
All right. Thanks for filling out uh, the Maryland Maryland Natural Resource Police Replacement Hunting slash Boating Safety Education Card request. All right. This little thing comes up. Maryland Natural Police. Uh, blah blah. This and that. Uh, this form is 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 how you get. Uh, you know how you get it back to you. It it really is that easy, guys. All right. Let me get off the big screen here and take you guys back here. Bam. So, you know, it's that easy. All right. You're going to get an email confirmation. It's going to let you know. After that, you're going to have to wait. What they say is about 14 days to get your license back, to get your certification back. Once you have your certification, then you could take that out to your, you know, local hunting license distributor, if you will, and apply for your hunting license for this season. It's not just deer, right? You turkey hunters, you uh, quail hunters or dove hunters or anything else like that, duck hunters, whatever, you're going to want that. You're going to need that card, right? Keep track of it. Do better than your boy here did. You know, keep track of your stuff um, and follow my advice. So this this is my advice, right? And this is what I'm going to do. Once I get this, so, so this thing's going to be emailed back to me. Once I get it emailed back to me, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Uh, download it. I'm going to put it on my hard drive that I also keep in one of my safes. And, and that way, if I need it in the future, I could just pull it back up. That way I don't ever have to worry about it again. Um, I don't know how they're doing it today. Uh, I probably should have figured out, but I don't know if today, if they're issuing a card to you or if they digitally send it to you, if they're asking for emails back in 2004, they weren't asking for emails, right? You got your card in the mail. So, um, Yep. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download it. I'm going to put it on a hard drive. And I'm going to have it in the future. All right. Now, like I said, um, here in the near future, we're going to have another episode that comes out. We're going to uh, talk about smooth walled cartridges and how uh, you can now hunt with smooth wall cartridge here in the state of Maryland. Um, probably going to do a demo on that. Uh, get out at the range, walk through a couple of firearms and see what we like. Uh, we'll talk about what we're carrying out uh, this year out, in, out into the tree stand and um, yeah, give some product, uh, some product review there. Also what I'm going to do uh, again, guys, if you're not, if you're not already over at ptpgun.com, get over there. All right. Keep an eye on stuff. Uh, we just recently kind of revamped what the members is, what the membership is, and what that offers to people. We're going to be opening up a lot more opportunities to the members, the PTP Gun Club. All right. If you get, you get over there, you get signed up for that. It's very flexible plans, man. It, it's too easy, really. But one of it's going to be, you know, some of the events we do are the gun buffets. You come out, you get your hands on a hundred different firearms. You really get to be selective and try out a whole bunch of different stuff. We're shooting off 10,000, 20,000 rounds of ammunition and, and, and it's crazy. And we do that for you guys. Get out there, get over to ptpgun.com, get yourself signed up to be a club member. There's so many perks with that. It's ridiculous. You get free swag, you get shirts every month, you get, uh, there's gun giveaways every month. There's all kinds of stuff, guys. You've got to get over there and sign up for that membership. With that, as we get closer to hunting season, we're going to bring out some of those smooth wall cartridge firearms, let you guys shoot with those. We're going to set them up on the rifle range there. You'll actually be able to walk through each of those firearms. So if you're a traditionalist, you like going out, loading your own, loading your own shells, um, going out there, shotgun, you know, with the shotgun, shooting your, shooting your slug rounds. Or if you're a traditionalist like me, I've always went out with the black powder with the muzzle loader. Um, I feel like I've got some pretty good control with that. I'm dialed in with my muzzle loader. Uh, but this year, I'm going to be coming out with the smooth wall cartridge firearm. Um, see if I could open up my range a little bit. Um, maybe reach out and touch something. So, the message there. Get over to ptpgun.com. Sign up for a club membership. Come out here as we get closer to November and start shooting some of these smooth, smooth wall cartridges. Figure out if you like that. Maybe that's something you want to take out into the stand with you this year. Uh, a lot less kick than a, than a shotgun. So maybe that's something you want to train your kids up on when they're getting out into the, when they're getting out in the tree stand with you. Right. Um, anyways. Yeah. That's the message. Let me go ahead and try to wrap this thing up around here. So here's the point. File for your hunter safety license replacement card. All right. Get that in your safe. Get squared away with that. All right. Head over to ptpgun.com. Sign up for the membership there. Follow us on the blog. Go to Apple Podcasts. Search this podcast, the Practical Training Podcast, PTP. All right, give us a five-star review. And with that, guys, yep, I think that's it. We out here.